All right. So I do want to do an official SteamOS install video for NVIDIA GPUs at some point, but Valve does not officially support those yet. Um, now, other distros like Bazite and Nobara do currently have support for NVIDIA uh, GPUs. They have the proprietary driver baked in, um, but that's just not a thing from Valve yet. Valve hasn't started doing anything with that as of now. Um, matter of fact, the only really target handhelds with the ISO that's currently out. Um, it can be modified, and I've messed around with that a little bit, but um, it doesn't have NVIDIA drivers, and they don't have an NVIDIA version right now, and I've been having a lot of problems with Nobara recently, where game mode just doesn't work. Uh, so at this point, I'm just like, alright, well, I'm going to go back with Bazite, and I know you guys wanted a tutorial with Bazite anyway, so here we are. Um, so first up, you're just going to go to Google and you're just going to search for Bazite. Now you're going to click on the first link. It's going to take you here. Just go ahead and click download and it will take you to this page right here. Um, for me, I'm using an Acer Nitro 5. If you try to go with this, you are not going to have gaming mode. It says your hardware does not support Steam gaming mode, which is like, okay, why would I download it if I didn't have gaming mode. That's like half the reason I want SteamOS in the first place. Anyway, um, so yeah, just go with go with the first option. Um, I'm going to go with KDE. You don't have to do that if you don't want. You can go with GNOME, but I'm used to KDE, so I'm going to choose that. And yes, you do want gaming mode. I would assume that's probably why you clicked on the video. So once you have all that sorted out, you know, um, go ahead and click download. Again, it'll just move the page a little bit farther down. You click on that download button and it's going to download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to wait, but it is like 7 gigabytes, so it's going to take a minute. Um, even then, it still has to connect to the internet because it has to make sure it's updated and all that. Uh, so make sure you have an internet connection when uh, you start to download it. But um, you will need to flash that. And there's a few ways to flash the ISO. Um, you need a thumb drive, obviously, or an SD card or some kind of removable drive um, and you can either use Ventoy which is really easy you just drag and drop it to the, the drive that has Ventoy on it but um, that has its own setup process which I'm not going to go through right now um, the easiest thing and what is going to make this easier on all of you guys watching is to just download Bellina um, just google it uh, it'll be this website right here I will drop the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys but you're going to hit download etcher and then if you're on windows you'll choose this option right here um, there's also this option for linux uh, it's pretty easy if you're on linux you just have to extract the archive and it's an executable file for linux so it's not that hard to figure out but um, i'm on windows so i downloaded this one right here and it's extremely easy to set up i'm not going to go over that but uh, all you do is just run through the installer. It should give you this right here. You double click on that and you'll be like, it'll ask you where your ISO is located. You'll go to your downloads or wherever you saved it, I don't know. Hit open. Then you're gonna wanna select your drive. For me, I have a, a verbatim USB thumb drive and then I'm gonna hit flash. All right, so at this point where it gets the verifying, you can just hit skip because you don't actually need to go through that and uh, you should be good to eject your drive now so let's head on over to my other PC alright so once you have Bazite flashed onto whatever drive you selected previously with Bolina Etcher go ahead and plug that into your PC while it's turned off then you can go ahead and turn on your PC and hold whatever key it is to boot into your uh, boot menu and for me, I need to select this device right here, USB HDD. It might look different for you. Um, it'll just be the drive, the new drive that you wouldn't normally see if it wasn't plugged in. Another thing to note is that you might need to turn off Secure Boot. So go into your BIO settings and take care of that. You can Google that. It's different for every computer. But once that's done, you can come back here if, you're have, if you were having issues with that before. And go ahead and just hit Enter. And then this screen right here should pop up. Um, just select the first option, not the second one. It's going to do some 
Linux code on the screen here in a second while it tries to load like modules and all sorts of other fun stuff. So just be patient and let it do its thing. Okay, once you get to this screen, uh, just choose your selected language and then continue. Then once you get here, um, choose whatever disk you want, make sure that it doesn't have anything important, and if it does, make sure you back that up. Um, make sure you're also connected to the internet, and that can either be through Wi-Fi, or I have an Ethernet cable plugged into my laptop, so it doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, now, for user creation, this part is actually pretty important, so make sure that the user is called DEC, and then whatever username you want, so I'm just going to go with, like, DOC. Then just create a password, and then verify it. And I am going to add one more character to that because it's not long enough. There we go. If your password is too short, you're gonna have to double click on done. And once that's finished and you've selected your drive, everything else is filled out, go ahead and hit begin installation. Once that is going, it could take quite a while, so just be patient with that. Um, really the whole like moral or the whole theme of this video is just that you have to be patient because some of this stuff does take a while. Um, so yeah, once that starts, just let it do its thing and I'll be back once it's done. So when you're done with the installation, it should ask you to reboot. You can go ahead and do that. Um, while your computer is rebooting though, I would definitely hit the boot option key just to make sure that it actually goes into the correct operating system. So for me, that would be Fedora. And it might ask you to enroll, uh, it might be like a blue screen where it asks you to enroll an MOK key or something like that. I just hit continue boot. If you want, you can register the key so you can keep secure boot on, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. All right, so it took a very, very long time to load. But when your computer is done trying to boot into the operating system, you're going to be met with this screen right here, which is just like SteamOS. Go ahead, choose your selected language, choose your time, whatever internet connection you want. You can use Wi-Fi if you want to. And then it's going to install, so I'll be back once this is over. All right, so for me, my PC rebooted after it was done installing and uh, I signed in with a QR code um, and this is what the home screen looks like. So as you can see everything's working pretty well. If you want to finish the setup though you can hit escape or if you're using a controller you can hit the Steam menu button go ahead hit power and then switch to desktop. Okay so once you get back into desktop mode I'm gonna go over here to my Steam settings and real quick we're going to go to interface and head down to where it says enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views. Turn that on. It's going to ask you to restart. I'm going to say later because there's one more thing we got to do. Um, okay yeah and the other thing was just make sure that enable smooth scrolling in web views is also selected. Um, but once those two things are taken care of you should be all right if you're running um, a PC with an RTX series card or a GTX, basically anything that is a GTX 16 series or newer. You don't need to really do anything after this. You can go back to game mode and it should just be working fine. So that will about do it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can subscribe. It's free if you like content like this and go ahead and leave a like. See you guys in the next one.